Hey guys, the rain is out. But today, I'm gonna try to do an oil change on this Chrysler 300 thing. So first things first here, we're gonna jack it up and secure it on the jack stands. You can do it in any form or fashion that you want, this is what I'm going for. So I'm jacking up the rear, the free up the front jacking points for my axle stands there. Now it's screwing the air, what I'm gonna do is gonna remove the oil filler cap and the dipstick. That way it lets air into the engine so it drains out faster. I'm going to slide underneath is a 13mm um, sump plug bolt. I'm going to crack off the spanner like we just did now and then we're going to remove it the rest of the way with our fingers. You are going to get oil on here but try not to get too much because you'll end up getting it everywhere. Back up top, I haven't got the correct tool for this oil filter um, lid housing. Um, so I've improvised with this so I just cracked it off slightly with with the ratchet and I'm just going to do the rest by hand but um, you can do yours if you've got the crack tool perfectly fine once it's loosened all out of the way put it to one side so the oil drains out of it now you can get it out look without getting oil everywhere now it's just going to replace the oil filter and the seals we've lubricated them with a bit of clean engine oil so they help seal it and the back one there as well and then we're just going to twist this in by hand and then finish it off with the improvised tool which I wasn't too pleased about um, but I had to get this done for the customer today so I just had to adapt a little bit and then just I'm making do with this but really you need the correct cups I've got like 23 cups and they're from the right size I'm just going to twist it on. 25 newton meters this has to be, so it's uh, just over hand tight. There we go. I'm going to slide back underneath. Put the sump plug back in, lower it all down, fill it up with oil, run it and check for any leaks. And that's perfect. Thank you for watching, guys.